We're here at NFMT Remix in the Expo Hall. We're going to uh, talk to some exhibitors about how they can help the facility managers who are here at the show. David Goldsmith, I uh, am our program director for the Food for Work platform at Easy Cater. Um, we're a one-stop shop for all things Food for Work, business grade, custom tailored solutions for companies that have returned to work, that are returning to work, um, and of course, you know, at the end of the day, food is an engagement. It's a way that people come together and, and we cover the entire country with 110,000 plus restaurant partners and, and growing every single day. Everything under the facility is just this broad, broad spectrum. And so facilities managers are having to think about things that they necessarily haven't had to before. Like you've got the traditional cafeterias that have always fallen under that. But when you look at uh, the way costs are rising, um, those cost about a million dollars a year often to run. Uh, companies are looking for more tailored solutions. And a lot of times they're getting asked these questions in ways they haven't before by their executive team, their constituents, their employees. So um, the traditional way that a lot of times this is solved, vending machines, uh, you know, kind of static coffee, it, it, it serves a purpose and it's baked into the way that we work here across the country. But facilities managers are more and more having to think about employee engagement and you're seeing huge trends in employees being less engaged. And so being able to find ways to create that engagement, create that camaraderie and um, you know, especially with the Gen Z growing workforce, that being able to bring people into the office so they can learn from their peers, their senior leaders, it's, uh, you know, at the end of the day, breaking bread is the way that we've all come together for generations. One of the things that we're seeing, and I mentioned it earlier, is that the cost for operating cafeteria is continuing to rise. Um, it, it can often be over a million dollars a year, and the lion's share of uh, people that we survey are saying they expect that to continue to grow. So one of the big trends that we're seeing is that facilities managers, workplace leaders, are looking for more flexible solutions. Something that they can you know, maybe ramp up on a Wednesday and then ramp back down on a Friday, something with less overhead. So that engagement piece that, that I mentioned is, is something that's huge, 59% of employees say they're not engaged. 89% uh, of employees say that if they had food for work, they'd feel more appreciated, more engaged. And 93% of leaders say that when they offer food, they have more people in the office. So like, you kind of have all this, these, these trends in the data with, with who we survey and who we hear from others, that at the end of the day, bringing food and bringing people together is uh, accomplishing a lot of the goals of the facility managers. The evolution to the Food for Work platform has been one of those things that facilities managers are, you know, they come to a show like this to learn about a lot of the different things that come into facility management, but this is something that's newer to them. We don't necessarily want to be on the ins and outs, that beeper that goes off when the HVAC goes down, they don't want to think about that with food. That's what we're here to do, and, and we have the access to the 100,000 plus restaurants. Not just get the big brands, but the mom and pop shops, and again, we go all the way from your Chick-fil-A's, your Darden brands, all the way down to like the pizza shop around the corner. It, uh, you know, it really, again, it's bringing people into the office, but it's also engaging with uh, the community and, and each, each, each city has its own food uh, culture. 